Welcome to Gamer Poets, and to this comprehensive and fully functional guide on Fallout 4 Console Commands. A channel dedicated to immersive experience, to enjoyment, and to you. In the universe of Fallout, at times, all may appear to be lost, but that doesn't mean that you, a game modder, should be as well. Let's get started. This tutorial is completely optional. Each command within it will be explained and visually displayed. Take caution, as some commands could potentially break your save. In rare cases, you may have to reinstall Fallout 4 altogether. A break can happen long after a command is executed, and tracing its origin may not be possible. If you plan on experimenting, create a backup of your save file and place it somewhere safe. If you are looking for permanent game setting changes, view the Fallout 4 Any File Guide from the helpful secondary video section above. At the time of this video's creation, that guide is not yet created, but I will update the link when it is. Console Commands Explained The console is a powerful in-game tool used to execute commands. It is accessed by using the tilde key at any time in-game. A command is a short line of code similar to an any file setting. At times, IDs, names, and or values are required for a command to work. Other times, they are optional or not applicable. Commands are executed within the console to configure game properties without having to exit the game. There are both temporary and permanent commands. Temporary commands automatically reset when the game is exited. Commands are case insensitive. To execute a command, you simply type it in the console, followed by its ID, name, and or value if one or both are required, and then push the enter key. Toggle commands. Toggle commands, toggle settings, off and on. Go in game and open the console. Type a NIM cam, then push enter to execute the animator camera. This toggle is a third person camera mode, letting you rotate and zoom around the player without changing the direction that he or she is facing. In the console, type PSB and then push enter to execute the player's spellbook. This gives the player 137 spells, however, I do not yet know what those spells are or how to access them. With the console open, type S1ST to toggle simultaneous first third person. To execute this, you have to first be in third person. This places your body in front of yourself, showing both first and third person views simultaneously. In the console, type SUCSM or set UFO cam speed molt. Leave a space and then enter the speed that you want the camera to move. After selecting your speed, push enter. This will set the speed at which the UFO free flying cam moves. In the console, type TAI or Toggle AI to execute the Toggle Artificial Intelligence command. This will toggle artificial intelligence processing off and on. Before executing the command, if you have a specific target selected, it will toggle off the AI only for it. If you have no one selected, it will toggle off the AI processing globally. Retyping and executing the command again will turn it back on. In the console, type TC and enter to execute. This is for toggle controls given. If used when highlighting an NPC, your game controls will be transferred to it, allowing you to control it as if it were your own character. However, unless you enter the command player.tc to remove your control over your own character, any command that you input will be passed on to both the player and the target. In the console, type TCAI and then push enter to execute the toggle combat artificial intelligence command. This will toggle combat AI processing off or on. In the console, type TCL and then push enter to execute the toggle collision command. This will allow you to move in any direction and through anything. If an actor is not selected, it will turn off collision for the player while keeping NPCs stuck in place. Deselect any target reference by double clicking the same object or area, causing TCL to default to the player. A command that is very useful if your player gets stuck so that you don't have to reload your save and stop any current progress. In the console, type tdetect and push enter to execute the toggle artificial intelligence detection command. This will toggle AI detection. Characters become oblivious to the player's presence even when attacking them. In the console, type teo fis and then push enter to toggle end of frame image space. This will toggle blur, 
contrast adjustment, fade in and fade out situations, eye adaption, and other similar effects on and off. And lower end systems will actually notice a performance gain. In the console, type TFC, push enter to execute toggle free flying camera. This command toggles the free cam off and on by switching your control from the character to the camera. This works in both first person and third person. In the console type, TFC, leave a space, 1, and then push enter. This will do the same thing as TFC with the addition of freezing all characters in game in their current position. Open the console, type TFOW, push enter to execute, toggle fog of war. This command reveals unexplored areas on the local map. It has no effect on the world map. In the console type TG, and then push enter to execute the toggle grass command. This will toggle grass on and off. In the console type TGM for toggle god mode. This command toggles god mode on and off. Only usable on the player, it grants you no damage taken, no AP used, no stamina used, no encumbrance, immunity to radiation, and unlimited projectiles. At the console, type TIM and push enter to execute the toggle immortal mode command. This will toggle immortal mode off and on. Only usable on the player, it allows you to stay alive with zero health. Saving a game session that you have used TIM in could potentially corrupt your save file. You will gain no other benefits from this command. In the console, type TLL and enter to execute the toggle level LOD command. This will toggle most levels of LOD off and on. In the console, type TM and push enter to execute toggle menus. This will toggle menus off and on. Menus refers to heads up display or HUD. Even the console will visually disappear, but it will still be active after the command is initiated. Push the killed key to close the console. To toggle TM off, you must do the same process, but you won't be able to see what you are typing on screen. In the console, type TMM and leave a space. This command is to toggle map markers. You can then type either 1 to toggle map markers on or 0 to toggle map markers off. Next, in addition to TMM1, you can type TMM space 1, leave a comma, and then leave another space. Then add a second parameter. Entering 1 here will leave all map markers discovered, or typing 0 will leave all map markers undiscovered. If locations are not discovered, you can't fast travel to them. And finally for this command, having the first parameter 1, the second parameter 1, adding a comma and leaving another space, you can then again add either 1 or 0. This third parameter represents all being 1, or all but hidden being zero. You can toggle this command off and on with one or two or all three parameters, depending on what you choose to do. In the console, type TS and then push enter to execute the toggle sky command. This command toggles the sky off and on. In the console, type TWF and then push enter to execute toggle wireframe. This will toggle wireframe off and on for everything that you see in game. In the final toggle command of this tutorial, in the console, type TWS, push enter to execute toggle water system. This will toggle water display off and on, though leaving underwater display untouched. Going underwater and resurfacing will turn this command off. Targeted commands. Targeted commands require a target reference to work. One way to do this is use the mouse to target anything on screen while the console is open. Select the target, then initiate a command. Another way is to add the prefix player dot to a command to target yourself. And the final way is to use the prid command to target anything in game even if it's off screen. In the console, type add item, leave a space, type an item's ID, leave another space, then numerically type out how many of this item that you want to call into existence. If it is only one item, you still have to type the number 1. Push enter to execute. You can also remove items from a character by using a negative amount. In the example that you see, player.addItem space 000000F has added 1000 caps to my inventory. When using this command and others, you can leave out any zeros that come at the beginning of an item ID. Example, the ID with 7 zeros and F is the same as simply typing F. 
In the console, type mod av, leave a space, type the name of a skill, leave another space, then type the numerical amount of special points that you would like to add to the target. This command adds a specified amount of special skill points to the specified skill for the target that is selected. In this example, player.modav space luck space 10 has given my character 10 additional points of luck on top of what he already has. In the console, highlight a dead NPC and type resurrect and push enter to execute. This will bring the selected dead NPC back to life. Missing body parts will remain missing. In the console, type set level, leave a space, and then numerically type the level that you wish the target to be set to. This command advances the selected character to the specified level. In this example, typing 30 has advanced my character from level 5 to level 30. In the console, type set scale, leave a space, and choose a value from 1 to 10. This changes the size of the selected character. Be aware that fall damage does not change with the scaling. In the console, select an item and type set ownership. This will make any selected item yours. This includes beds, cabinets, and pretty much anything else. However, taking items from containers, even after making them your own, will still have you lose karma. In the console, type unlock and push enter to execute. This command unlocks any door, safe, terminal, or lock container that you have selected prior to executing the command. Untargeted commands. Untargeted commands do not require a target reference. In the console, type CAQS and push enter to execute complete all quest stages. This will complete every quest in game. However, it can cause CTD and it may unlock many quest related Steam achievements, but is still yet to be determined. In the console, type COC, leave a space, and then type a cell name. Push enter to execute. This command transports your character to the center of a specified cell. In this example, COC space conquered EXT has teleported my character to the specified exterior conquered cell. Most location codes can be found by typing the command help leave a space, the name of an area, leave another space, and zero. In this example, help space conquered space zero has given me the names of every conquered cell. In the console, type COC, leave a space, QA, smoke. This will bring you to the QA test room, where you can find every item in game. You have to COC yourself to another cell to leave the area. The items that you get will be random. Just keep opening the boxes over and over again. In the console, type CSB and then push enter to execute clear screen blood. This will remove all blood from the player's viewing screen. Next, in the console, type FOV, leave a space, and then type the viewing angle that you wish to see from. FOV stands for field of view, and this command changes the view to the specified angle. In the console, type kill all actors, or kill all, standing for kill all actors. This will kill all non-essential NPCs and knock down essential NPCs in whatever cells are currently loaded. In the console, type QQQ. This stands for Fast Quit, and it will instantly quit Fallout 4 to the desktop. In the console, type SAQ, standing for Start All Quests. This will start all quests in game. It can cause crash to desktop. Next, in the console, type Set Space Game Hour Space 2 TO, and then the time of day that you wish for it to be. This will set the game hour to whatever time you specify by advancing the day. Next, in the console type, set GS space F jump height min space and then enter a value, setting the player jump height. If you set this value high without having God mode enabled, your player will die on landing as if he has fallen. In the console, type set space time scale leave another space to space and then enter a value. This will set the speed at which time passes in game. I believe that the vanilla default is 20 and that real world time is 1. In the final untargeted command of this tutorial, type SGTM, leave a space, and enter a value, executing the set game time multiplier command. This sets the game time multiplier so that everything, including combat and dialogue in game, can be in fast forward or slow motion. Console command batch files. 
When you are in game, if you type the command BAT, leave a space, and then the title of a batch file that you have created, it will execute that pre made batch file for you. A console command batch file is a simple text document created to run multiple console commands without having to enter each one manually. And this is how you create and execute one. Navigate to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Fallout 4, and open the data folder. Create a text document and choose a name that represents the commands that will be added to the batch. For this example, I will name it FO4 Batch, leaving the .txt as the extension. If you cannot see the .txt, watch the reveal file extensions from the video in the helpful secondary section. Next, open the document and beginning on the top line, type out a command the same way that you would using the console in game. Add as many commands as you like, one command per line. Commands will execute top to bottom. And don't forget to save the file when you are finished. I have gone ahead and compiled some downloadable batch files for you to download and try out. Thank you to the Fallout Wikia for doing the text work on three of them. As time goes on, I will compile more and add them to Nexus. And finally, go in game, open the console, type out the batch command, execute it, and close the console. In this batch file, 1,000 of all necessary crafting materials have been added to my character. And now this is where I take some time to generically, yet sincerely, thank you all for watching this video. Without all of the sites listed on screen, this tutorial would not be possible. They're the ones who have found the information. I have simply tested it out and have brought it to you. And as I always say, without the viewers, these videos would also not exist. I will be updating this tutorial in the future, as well as all Fallout 4 tutorials, adding some commands, probably expanding on some others. As it will be a while until that video is created, leave your suggestions and ideas, and I could potentially incorporate them into the next video. If I do use your suggestion, I will give you credit both in the video and on GamerPoets.com for doing so. If any of you would like to help me set up some more batch files, it would be greatly appreciated, and I will also credit you on the Nexus page. Also, if you desire some more to the point video navigation, check out the video description and you will see time codes linking to each command that is in the tutorial directly without having to watch the entire thing again. And as always, I am Michael of Gamer Poets. Thank you guys for watching.